Hello, Terraria Enthusiasts! My name is James, and today we are off to the aquatic depths. So yesterday we did that Queen Jellyfish boss, and it gave us an accessory. Now, I believed yesterday that that accessory will actually let us, like, survive in the aquatic depths. However, I was kind of testing this out earlier, just when I had a little bit of free time, and it doesn't. Like, it doesn't do what you would think it would do. It basically just buffs you while you're there. Now, I'm not too sure whether I like that or not, because it basically means we need to keep crafting gills potions, and I only actually have three left. So today, we're only going to get six minutes of aquatic depths. When I went there earlier, I did notice that there was a bunch of, like, ore, and there's a bunch of, like, kind of tough enemies, so I thought we could go and check it out together. And then, what I was planning on doing is kind of just assessing what to do next. So, Purple Necromancer left a comment yesterday saying we should start working on Thorium Armor. Now, Thorium Armor is made with Thorium Ore, which spawns naturally throughout the world. Kind of important, right? Because our world is, like, absolutely rubbish. So I've not relied on any natural ores for, like, the longest time, because who knows. But anyway, hey everybody, how you all doing? Hope you're all doing good. I, uh, I got sent another piece of like really amazing artwork last night by a quid a quid is the person who did the really really cool uh calamity mod arc of the elements uh pixel art for me and we had it printed out we put it on the wall and he did another one in celebration of the aquatic depths which i'll uh, i'll show on screen right now i think it's just truly amazing and what i did was just like with the last piece i actually had it turned into a canvas and i posted a little kind of like mini vlog showing off uh the city where i live and unboxing it so if you haven't checked that out already check that out it's a uh, it's a cool video and i think you guys will like it at least and uh, you'll be able to see it in its true glory right aquatic depths time we should be more than equipped i'm just gonna go with my uh, giant glow stick because the place is like really dark and i actually don't have many glow sticks so uh yeah so it's not really a great combination but the gigantic glow stick should probably do as well but yeah, I was just so shocked about the um, the accessory not working the way we uh, thought it would. Oh my god, that thing does loads of damage. It does loads of damage. Yeah, I was just really shocked because I thought it was like, you do this boss and then bam, you go to the aquatic depths and you move onwards. But I did learn yesterday that the aquatic depths uh, actually had a bit of coding work in terms of like natural generation from Eurozor, who is one of the Terraria developers. I think that's really cool. Eurozor actually has like a background in making Terraria mods. I'm pretty sure he worked on the Dark Souls mod uh, back in the day. And uh, it was really cool of them to, uh, really cool of him to help out. I think that's just super awesome. So, uh, dude, thank you. Thank you. All right, this is the aquatic depth. I'm still taking one tick of damage, but I think that's because I actually have poisoning. Yeah, it is. Right. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, these guys are... No, 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 no. Okay, back off. I'm trying to rely on not back here to to get these back. Okay, that didn't go so well. But yeah, um, yeah, dude, thank you. Okay. Oh my god, I got distracted then by the people. Right, I'm not doing well, am I, with this? I do like it. Gives us depth scales, and I believe you can get pearls as well. I actually have two pearls, and I think it's the clams that do the pearls. Oh, what's that? A sea ninja star. Okay, I may have seen those before. I feel like I've, uh, I've heard that before, at least. <laughs> Look at that Barracuda! Just flying around! Barracuda, back off. Back off. Okay, yeah. Our uh, our alliance on the Thorium armor is honestly going to come down to whether we, uh, we get lucky or not. Because I think with our world, like, I don't know. If we just have bad world generation, like, we have no... Uh, like heart crystals or life crystals or whatever. We have none of them in our world pretty much and everything else is just pretty bad Like we haven't had a uh, any good chess or anything like that. So who knows who knows? But yeah, honestly, thank you so much for the artwork a quid. I uh, I love it like it makes it feel really special because I've said this uh, in other places before but essentially what it does is it makes something that I work on online into like something real because when we do a Terraria series like we're doing Forium now, a Forium series takes like a month, you know, sometimes a month and a half. We did Calamity for almost two months. So that's two months of my entire life that we've done on a series and it's like so special that people stick around for that. So when um I see something in real life, like something phys like physical, it just makes it uh, 
so much more special. Why is that? Oh, oh yeah, because it's two minutes and then it instantly goes down to a minute. Right, I'm going to slowly start working my way in. I do need to build some health, though. Oh, my God. The octopuses. They're like the weirdest sprites going, aren't they? They have, like, the weirdest thing. I was trying to make a thumbnail with one once, and uh, I was, like, looking at their sprite, like, all right, this is really weird. This is really bizarre. Okay. Oh, my God. There are so many little jellyfish things around. And a barracuda. Get out of here, barracuda. Barracuda, get out of here. Okay, there's a worm coming. I don't know what kind of... Oh, there we go. I was gonna... Oh, snap. Oh, God. Oh, God. That was, like, a pure moment of rage then. My aquatic depth skills are really bad. I don't actually know how far the aquatic depths goes. I don't know if it's underground completely or if it's got a bit of surface. It's called the depths. But that just might mean because it's water. Like, does it go all the way at the top? Let's go and find out today. Let's go and find out because then I don't have to ask the question anymore. But um, there was also one thing that I got for the, uh, for the series, which is called... Uh, I believe it's called Where's My Item? It's a really cool little mod by Jopo Jelly. You've probably seen it on Chippy Gaming. I posted it earlier. But um, it's cool, right? So you press this, and you can type an item that you want, and it will show you what chest it's in. That's so cool. Like, I needed this months ago. I needed this five years ago when Terraria came out. It's so good to have it today. Because, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be like a really great you know, addition to the mod. A lot of people ask me, oh, James, what mod do you use? Currently, I'm using Forium. Item checklist? No, I'm not using item checklist. I'm using a item searcher. I'm using a boss checklist. I'm using another boss health bar, and then that. Most of them, three of those are made by Joe Po Jelly, and then the other two are made by like a bunch of different people. I think I'm I'm not honestly not too sure if I was uh if I was being real with you guys. I actually don't know. So I'm gonna take off this accessory. I'm gonna go back to my shield of Cthulhu. And that's going to get us through this desert. Because this desert's having a little bit of a storm. Pushing me back just a little bit. I'm going to leave this behind. But yeah, I um, there's one thing that I do want to make in this series. I want to make that marble house. And I was just thinking then. I was like, I really want to get the, um, the Halloween event going. Or like it sets the season to Halloween. Because I really want to uh, get my cloth ear outfit in this set. Because as you guys know, the cloth ear outfit is kind of my thing. And uh, it can only be available during uh, during Halloween. So I want to get that done. That'll be good. All right, we're, we're almost there. Shining the shoes is so good. Because it gives you just like a little bit of extra movement speed. And like when you're starting out, like you can actually really feel it. Like I don't know if we were using the Sephira Traces in Calamity and we got that. Whether it would make too much of a difference. But uh, it does feel good. It does feel good. The NPCs are actually all pretty useful in this mod. Like uh, I really like the emergency air tank. And I really like the shining the shoes. Okay, so what is this biome all about? Well, it's already ocean background. And this is just straight up ocean. So is this the aquatic depths? Let's take a gills. I only have one left. So is this straight up ocean now? Because that's pretty bizarre. Oh, okay. So it's like a bit of ocean with those enemies in it. You know what? It's kind of like everybody always says, oh, what should they revamp in Terraria? And everybody always goes, they should use, they should make space for the desert, right? Not the desert, the ocean. Because nothing's been done with the ocean since the game launched. Like, not a single thing. Like, they added, uh, they added sharks at one point, And then they added coral at another point. But then other than that, that's it. So this is the entrance to the aquatic depths. This is how I'm meant to experience it, I guess. I guess I'm not meant to experience the uh, the janky underground version. Now, is this something we take? All right, that's that's a rock. Ah, see, this entrance looks a lot better. Oh, there's that ore. So it does come with its own ore. It's called, like, aquite. Aquite? I don't know. I'm really bad with made-up words. Like, there's a lot of words that make sense. Like, they're, like, deprived from two different words. And they should make sense. But I uh, I have problems putting them together. Just, I don't know why. I just do. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. See, this is a big problem, this. You don't want to be doing that. So, what do we do? Do we mine through? We have, like, so many bombs on us now. What is this? Oh, pearls? Oh, so you don't actually have to get these from, uh, from clams. You can actually just mine them up. Oh, it's just... just Oh, right. Okay, you can't do that. Okay, well, that makes sense, because I think this is like a... 
you know, a pickaxe specified place. We only have 20 seconds left, though. That's the problem. And I don't know how much you actually get on that breathing tank. Like, whether it's, like, one full breath or not. So, we'll have to see. I want to, uh, I want to spot what happens. I'm going to keep it in the hot bar. Like that. We'll see what happens. I might die here. What ore is that? Is that gold? What is that? That's gold, right. So, that's a really good place to get gold, then. So, I've seen a lot of gold in this aquatic, uh... That's so what's happening right so this is my full breath my full breath is running out okay it'd be cool if some of these dropped uh, gills potions that would make it a little bit more balanced because i don't actually have to make it okay so i use my tank oh and i get one full breath ah that's cool that's like a like a getaway kind of thing like if you um if you get trapped i guess i don't know <coughs> kind of cool kind of cool all right get out of here clam Get out of here. Let's see what else is here. What's this? Like a little statue or something? Gonna have to leave though. But that was cool. That was really cool. I like going in that way rather than the uh, the under the jungle way. That That's a little bit more uh, atmospheric. And I like atmosphere in games. Okay. So let's see. I have one Spelunk potion. And I have a Night Owl potion. I might use this now to go and get some Forium Ore. We'll take this as well. And then one thing I should probably do is smelt up some of this uh, Aquaite. Aqualite or whatever. Smelt up some of this. Aquaite. <laughs> I swear, it's just a meme at the minute for me to uh, mispronounce words. But you guys get the drill. Uh, let's see. Do I have any more of this? I'm pretty sure I do, right? Or is it... No, that's Thorium. Is it in here? Yeah, right. So I was looking this up. So what can you actually make for 16? I'll tell you what, I'm going to take this here and see what I can actually make. Just, uh, like, actually, actually make. So, a depth diver's helmet. Become a selfless protector. Critical strike chance increased by 6%. You are all... You and all nearby allies can breathe underwater. Right. So that is perfect. That's what I needed then. <laughs> That's what I needed. I might go back there then. Because now I don't want to use the, um... I don't want to use the Spelunka thing. Ah, that makes a lot of sense. Like, you go there, you get, um... <laughs> you get aura, then you continue. This is great, because now we can actually just go and have a good time in there. Right, let me shine my shoes. Let me come up here. Get my shoes shined. I'll head there again. Because I want to see what else we can actually find. I want to see, um... Like, what's down there? Because I imagine there's quite a lot that we've not seen yet. Alright, so I thought I'd save you guys the time. So I just did a little uh, a little jump cut there. A little movie magic. And we're here. So, now that we can actually breathe, this is going to be a lot better. Right, but we do have... Oh, snap. Okay, we do have less defense now, don't we? Oh, okay, okay. I think we have less defense. We don't have a set bonus anymore. So I don't know what that actually does for us. We'll, uh, we'll have to see. Oh my god, octopus. Get out of here, buddy. Get out of here. Oh, wow. You know what? It's nice to uh, experience something fresh with Terraria mods. And I feel like this is as, uh, as fresh as I've felt in a little while, to be honest. I don't think I've been in a proper new biome in like so long. Like We went in that new one in the Calamity mod, but that's still being worked on, I believe. Because we tried it out on day one, and then we never got to, uh, to go back. So... This is like a true experience. Okay. So I'm going to mine some of this. We have 10 seconds. Oh, right. We have 10 seconds left on a heal. So I'm going to wait a little bit then. It's cool that you get a glow stick weapon. Like it like lights up. Oh. Oh, there's a chest. Oh. A magic conch. <laughs> it's the magic conch, everyone. From a... Uh... From Spongebob. The magic conch shell! <laughs> Creates a barrage of enemy lifting bubbles. Oh, dude. That's the, um... That's the one we, uh, we had. In, uh, in that fight. And I was like, wow, this is really creative. I thought they were statues. I guess it makes a lot more sense now. Oh, that's so cool. Let's try it out. I don't know how this will work. Oh, wow. It's just strong in general as well. How many... Come here, let's make some mana crystals. Oh, wow. 
Oh, okay. Forium, you just got interested. You started slow. But Forium, you've got an interest in. So I don't know what to do here because I can't I can't damage these enemies. I guess this is kind of a, a problem with these enemies. I'm just gonna have to I'm just gonna have to push through the pain, to be honest. I know my character isn't very strong, but I'm gonna have to do it. Because if I can't open this area up, I can't go anywhere. Oh my god. It's like it's chiseling every little thing but the blocks that we need to get rid of. Oh, get out of here, man. Get out of here. We got oh dude, there's so many um I wonder if you throw bombs down. It would work. Have I got any bombs left? No. Okay. Let's try and drag them away a little bit. And then we'll beat them there on the way back. We'll grab these pearls as well. Okay. Let's try and race them back. Okay. There we go. There we go. All right. Get the magic conch out. Oh my god. This is so cool. Honestly, for him, you've gotten so much better. And I was doubting for him at the start because it started so slow. I'm sure you guys can agree, like, our series started off, like, really, really slow. Forium, man. I am sad I ever doubted you guys. It makes me want to try the full Aquii uh, set as well. Oh, I should be using this. It makes me want to try the full set now because uh, it's so easy to get to with the uh, helmet attachment. So I might try and work on that now then. I might try and work on a full set because then we've done everything here and I'll feel good. Funny thing is, I actually saw another one of those uh, those statue chest things. So, the funny thing is, like, I've actually already passed one of those in the past. Right, I'm going to try and mine this. Oh, come on. Oh, no. See, I'm not a big fan of how these work. I understand why they work this way. Okay. Drop down. No! Oh, my God! You guys are so annoying! You're so annoying. Because I just want to mine my way through. Come on. I don't really know what to do to get him to move. You can't really do anything, can you? <laughs> I just have to let him sit there and taunt me. <laughs> they have a, they're, honestly, they're weird enemies, aren't they? Those are little octopuses. I hope I'm not the only one that, that thinks that. They're really weird. Like, to look at. Like, it's a weird sprite. Right, let's get him to lure him this way again. We'll lure him up. I was hoping going down would, uh, would help, but I guess it's not. So we'll drag him this way. Okay. And then this way. Hey, there we go. There we go. Okay, I've launched a hell on myself, but it was well worth it. Oh, hammerhead sharks, you are strong. Okay, let's kill the octopuses. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. No, these guys, these guys are the worst. When you're trying to navigate, these are the worst. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, I don't know exactly how much uh, I'm going to need to actually make this. Presumably, because it's a full set of armor, I'm guessing 140 pieces. That's usually the standard for a piece of uh, a full set of armor. So, I'll just continue mining these. And, uh, and we'll see. Let's actually check that real quick. Because you can actually check that pretty fast, can't you? Because... Let's see. How many do you need for a thing? Oh, it's five. Yeah, so it will definitely be like a hundred and a uh, hundred and something. Ooh. Well, this room was empty, so it wasn't really worth coming to. Other than, is that pearls at the top? I could do with the pearls. Yeah, pearls are good. Because you need pearls in some of the crafting recipes to actually do this. I don't know if there's anything else I need to be looking out for. Right, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna go down here. This might get me killed, though, because I'm going to open up this area. So let's try and brace ourselves. Okay. Okay. Right, awesome. Hey, get out of there. Right, these guys are stuck for some reason. I don't know exactly why they're stuck. Uh, Why are you stuck? Are you all just kind of clumped... It'll only let me do damage if I'm, like, right here, right on top of them. I don't oh, okay. I was going to say, I don't really get that. Oh, is there, like, a Hoyt block there? No? I I'm, I'm a little bit confused, if I'm honest. Because I can shoot some things down. Maybe it's too wide. Like, my weapon is too wide. Oh, no, this ham- Oh, okay. I thought that hammerhead shot was going to kill me then. And I wanted this extra chest. 
Oh, oh god, those do those do ticking damage. Okay. Grab this. I know I'm being very tense right now. This little anglerfish just hates the dark. Brightens the area directly in front of you while in water. So these are cool. Marine kelp seeds grows on mossy marine rock. I'll leave that. Oh, look, it's a little, uh, it's an actual little fish. Okay, I'm going to grab some of this. Right, I'm going to do a bunch more uh, mining and then we'll cut back in and we'll test some new armor. So I just found this thing in this chest. I'm going to uh, show it to you in a second. My health is kind of clutching right now. Okay, get these guys out of the way. Oh, they do that expert mode kind of like electric attack, don't they? And it's super annoying. Okay, so I found this. This is called a Sea Turtle's Mystic Bulwark. Defense increased by two. Taking more than four damage. Oh, oh I left it. It doesn't really matter because I didn't really seem that great. But uh, cool at least. Dude, we've had like such a good episode in the aquatic, <laughs> the aquatic depths or the aquatic biome. I really like it. I'm going to smelt up all these ore and I'm going to see if we have enough bars to make anything. And then if we do, we'll, uh, we'll have a little look at it. But if not, we'll do some more tomorrow. And see what's available. So I'm going to make this. Oh, and then I can make the... Oh, that's Thorium, right? So I can't make the leggings. I'm out of the uh, the ore for the leggings. But this does... um Fire defense. Not just for uh, hunting fish. 10% increased range damage. Oh, snap. Awesome. Right, well, that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. As always, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.